Oh, crap. Get off the road. Do you think I hit someone? Have I cranked those fucking windows? Right. Hang on. Okay, I think that guy's armed. Okay. He is definitely armed. Okay, we are drifting quite a lot on this mud. Shit. Hello and welcome. I am Gary and Reaver and these are my first impressions of Jalopy, which is an early access game I got from Keymailer, where you rebuild and drive an old car through a sort of Eastern European country. It sounds really interesting. Um, it harkens back to that debate I had with Scott in uh, Saints Row about the definition of jalopy. Like um, I, I know you're th you're thinking of like a Mustang as a muscle, and that's a, like, I don't that's know like what new a Mustang American. is. I'm I'm thinking of a jalopy. <laughs> the fuck Go is on. a jalopy? And it seems that Americans and Europeans have different definitions of the word, which is why this is a dilapidated old car and not a muscle car. But anyway, uh, I'm looking forward to giving this a go. It's a bit difficult to read this, hang on. Okay, so it's in beta, which means the full game is here, but it's not polished yet. So I'm looking forward to trying it. Oh, that's a bit... Yeah, I think that says Uncle Lufty. Wake up. Wake up. Ah, oh, awake, finally. It's kind of hard to read the name when it's like slightly off the box like that. Hmm, stay in bed any longer and the day will make fools of us both. I'm sorry, Lufty. Come now, I've something important to show you. Come, come, it's just outside. Oh god, that shirt is painful on the eyes. Or jacket, I think it's a jacket. Because like, the texture doesn't... The texture's like, on, across the entire screen, and that's why it seems to do that. So like, the texture's across the screen, but you can only see it through his jacket. That's really weird. This here is a Leica 601 Deluxe. Zero to sixty kilometers per hour in twenty-two point five seconds. Wow, a top speed of a hundred kilometers an hour, all at the econ economical rate of nine kilometers per liter. Not to worry, I've everything ready. We'll just need to build her an engine, slap on some wheels, fit the passenger side door, and give her a bit of a clean. So let's get started. Fit the replacement door. It's over on top of that scrap pile behind you. Oh yeah. If you squint, you may be able to see it. Yeah, I see it right there, Uncle. Oh, wow. Okay. Right-click is zoom. I'll go grab that then, shall I? I got it. I'll just, uh... Less than elegant, but it's on. Well, you do a better job, Mr. Painful Jacket Man. Right, now let's fit the engine. If you open the driver's side door, you'll see a black latch. Pull that and it will release the bonnet. For those who don't know, that's um, it's the bit at the front. So as you can see, she needs an engine. Yeah, there does appear to be a rather gaping hole in that, doesn't there? Uh, okay. Oh! Did you open that, Uncle? Stock engine. Oh! The parts are sat in the garage. Go collect one. Yeah, I'm working on it. I have no idea about cars, by the way. I have absolutely no experience with them. I don't drive. Uh, I have a provisional license, but not a full one. That's the engine block you've got there, the core of your Laker setup. The engine block defines core performance of your Laker, including top speed and acceleration. A poorly kept engine block will mean your Laker will struggle to perform. Go ahead, drop it into the engine. That was easy. I'll go grab something else then, shall I? What's wrong with your eyes? And your jacket? The jacket making things wrong with my eyes. Got a battery. That's the battery which provides the electrical charge. Yeah, it's not. It's not rocket science. It's, it's uh. It's engineering for a start. If your Laker won't start, the first place to check is the battery. Go ahead. Tr I'm trying to. If you stop talking to me. Right. I'm just gonna shut the door as well. Can I just? Yeah. I think you have to do, like, roadside repairs and stuff if it breaks down. Hey, Uncle, is there a best order to put these in, or can we just slot them in in whatever order? Because, you know, it kind of seems like some bits should go in first. That's the water tank, which provides water to help keep your windscreen clean from dirt. Vital piece. Keep it in good condition or it'll start to leak, and you'll soon find yourself driving without any vision. It will leak into your eye sockets. 
I dare you to prove me wrong. Yeah, all right. You're the expert. Leak into my eye sockets. Oh, that's clever. It's telling you about the right click on the poster. Stay alert for stars and flying mice. There we go. Okay, that's everything installed. Good job. Now fill her up. We're getting nowhere without fuel. Juggling is as easy as one, two, click. <laughs> oh, I see. You can carry multiple things. That's cleverly done. Um... Uncle? Uncle? Are you okay? Uh, uncle? The fuck is wrong with you, Uncle? Like performance and engine wear. A lean mixture... What the fuck was wrong with you for a second there, Uncle? A lean mixture will result in a faster car, but with increased wear to the engine. A rich mixture will result in the opposite. I feel like I should have known the things he was just telling me. Try using it on the fuel tank. What? Could you say that in English, please? Oh, God. Um, what the fuck am I doing with these, Uncle? You weren't... You were speaking in tongues. I... Oh. I think I'm just, like, spraying water everywhere. Uh, uncle, what do I do with the, f with the oil? Ah. I see. I used it on it. And it changed it to uh, lean mixture. Oh, okay. You can only carry three things at once. You only have three hands. Good. Now let's see how she runs. Uh, can I... I... I wasn't listening to what he was saying, I'm going to be honest. Did he say get in the... Get in the, uh, the trunk. The boot. That's the bonnet. That's the boot. Did he say trunk? Sorry, I wasn't listening, Uncle. Could you repeat that? Oh, I think I need to get in this side. Oh, next you'll need the map. Uh, I left the bonnet open. Can I just... I'll be right back. Right, map. This one is important, as it allows you to select which route you'll be taking to each destination. As you can see, our first destination is the CSFR border crossing near Dresden. Berlin to Dresden, so we're in Germany. I was sure it's... It, well, it said an Eastern European block, or an Eastern block. Is that like Eastern Germany? Once the route has been selected, we're then committed to driving it. You cannot change your mind in the world of Eastern Europe. <laughs> Yay. Just pop them into the ignition. Didn't need to hear the rest. Yeah. Now now do we drive, Uncle? I probably needed to hear the rest. Oh, handbrake. Yeah. Wow, this thing is a piece of shit, isn't it? And so begins our journey. Head towards Dresden. I didn't see the sign. I don't know if this one road is the way to Dresden. We'll be travelling the autobahns for the first part. This should give you a chance to get to grips with the Laker. Oh, it's slowly picking up speed. Your jacket is seriously giving me eye strain. Could you just take it off? I mean, I know it's... Oh, I can just do a full turnaround. Wee! It's like, pay attention on the... Oh, I'm sorry. We left the boot open. Oh, God! Oh, it's only an autobahn, you know, I could, I can just stop. Right, handbrake on. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Just need to make sure the hooker was still in there. On we go. Whee! Apparently this is almost 40 miles an hour. Oh, it's kilometres, isn't it? Stupid bloody kilometres. Uh, who uses kilometres? Miles. Far superior to this. You know, I, I think it's I use meters. But then I suppose I use inches. Yeah, we use both imperial and metric here in in the UK. Hmm. I don't have a body, Uncle. And there's a tank ahead of us. Should we ram it? I bet we can take it. 
<laughs> oh! Jesus! I got an achievement. Be more careful. Okay, are you saying we can't take it? Why did wheeling down my window cause a crash? Uh, let me have a look at the damage. Oh yeah. And break on. Oh, I can't. Oh, go away. Go away. It's it's cool that you can't actually get out until you um. I don't see any damage, Uncle. Are you sure something happened? Seriously, there's no damage. Oh, is that dented? Holy crap, I think it is. I think I must have hit this. I think my door's dented, or was it dented before? I don't remember. It's a very shit door, so... Isn't it lucky that Germany is basically void of all population? That's really lucky, isn't it, Uncle? Come on. Let's go to Dresden. Uh, shit. Can't remember which side of the road you're supposed to drive on. This one, I guess. Oh. It's sort of answered by which side of the ro the car I'm on, and you know the the arrow is pointing in the other direction. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's good to be on the road again, even if it is on the wrong side of the dual carriageway, which is now splitting off, so I can't cross back over. Shit. Oh, picking up speed, Uncle. Oh crap! Get off the road. <laughs> right, we should probably cross back over to our side. Jump? No, no, no. Don't try and jump it. You're new to the road, so I'll bring you up to speed on how this works. You stay on your side of the road. <laughs> Travellers can only call themselves such if they remain in motion. To achieve this, we must learn to live off the fruits of the road presents us. Are you coming with me? Oh, crap! Oh! Do you think I hit someone? Have I cracked those fucking windows? Right. Hang on. <laughs> I'm trying to look at the da- oh, she's not gonna bloody stop until I move. <clears throat> bloody hell! Then again, did I crack the- don't know if that's cracked or if it's just smeared. I don't see any damage. Thanks for stopping to ask to help. God. Drivers are so inconsiderate, aren't they? Bloody hell. I can't... I think that's a crack. That kind of looks like a crack, but it... Yeah, that's definitely a crack. The fruits of the road come to us in many forms. An abandoned car could provide us with much needed replacement tyres and maybe a body to eat or two. I'm sorry? Hmm? Oh no! Oh! I don't know the width of this vehicle. The road seems way too thin for this piece of crap. It's your fault, Uncle. You're like, hey, person who's never driven a vehicle before. Drive this vehicle. Not gonna tell you which side of the- oh, thank god I can switch. Head for the motel. We'll get some rest and cross into CSFR tomorrow. What, we are actually just leaving? I have no luggage, I have no clothes, we have nothing. The car's all beaten up because you didn't tell me how to drive before going on a road trip across bloody Russian-occupied Germany or whatever the hell we, we are. Ah, uh, hang on, is that money? No. There's the motel. Park outside the front. Not going to tell me about the red lights? Sure, okay. Oh, come on. I didn't even bump anything. Just park here. Yeah, I'm outside the front. Oh. Oh, <laughs> you think that might be the motel? Alright then. Thanks for looking at the thing that wasn't the motel and saying, there's the motel. You are the worst teacher ever, Uncle. Okay, good. Let's check it now. Oh, yeah, I should have pulled that first. Um, how do I take the keys out of the ignition, Uncle? Someone might steal this pi Oh, he's brought luggage. 
He didn't tell me to bring any bloody luggage, but he's got his bloody suitcase. <laughs> like, stop in the middle of nowhere, open his door and say, Get out! Leave the suitcase! Uh, I'm just going to leave the keys in here and hope somebody steals it so that I don't have to drive across the entire world. Oh, my engine's fucking smoking! Oh, I've got to pop the... I'll check it out later. Uncle knows what he's doing, I'm sure... Ah! Why didn't he tell me the door opens outwards? God! Welcome, will you be staying with us tonight? It's 20 for the room. Sorry, Uncle's just a bit antisocial. <laughs> yeah, I kind of think we should... Oh. Let's wind that back up. <laughs> Is the key still in there? Yes. I don't know how to get that out. There you go, have 100. Oh, it's now 80. You'll be staying in room 1A. We kindly ask you not to disturb the other guests during your stay, so I can't I can't beat Uncle. You can, just make it quiet. Okay, thanks. Come on. There we go. Again, the door opens outwards right now. Can I get the key back out of the fucking door? No. We don't believe in taking keys out of doors. Just leave it in the outside of the door. Oh, and he's... he's <laughs> asleep with those bloody suitcase. Oh, I get to steal whatever's inside it. A telegram. Oh, good. The interior of his briefcase is made of the same horrible fucking stuff. Oh, okay. The bed is incorporeal. I assume that's one of the bugs it mentioned. Oh, and there's piss in the toilet. So we left the keys in the car and the key in the door. If we don't get murdered in our sleep, I will be genuinely surprised. The wallet flew out of my hand and into the car when I fell asleep. Really wish I'd taken the key out of the door. Ugh. The fuck is he doing? Seriously, it's still dark out. He's just gone and sat in the car in the middle of the night. I'm staying another day. Here's payment. No, I don't need a cleaner. Alright. Junk. Useless junk. Might get a bit of money for it. Yeah, I'll take that. A newspaper. Textiles family burns down in CF CSFR. Alright. Have a good night. Apparently we're just leaving the motel in the middle of the fucking night. Alright. Okay, well the words just jump right off the page. <laughs> Such a compelling newspaper. Oh, is that luggage in the bag? Wow, the entire car rocks when I bump into it. Good morning, I trust you slept well. It's still the middle of the fucking night, Uncle. We should head us to the border. Don't forget to pick a route before we cross. Uh, yeah, let's go through rain. That sounds nice. Oh, okay. The moment I was like, right, I think we should go this way. Immediate rain. Right, well, you know, I'm beginning to think you're something like a hallucination, Uncle. Because... No one else has interacted with you. It's just me. But, you know, pulling the it's all a dream thing for a, a father figure. Really fucking lazy. You might see better if you put the wipers on. How do I do that? Aha! No, that doesn't help, Uncle. Seeing is non issue. You know, I don't know which way we're going at all, really. I should probably check the map before we drive off. Um, okay, yeah, apparently I do not get a map. It's just, fuck it, good luck. See, map, reading maps is one thing I can do. No, they're not, they're just to the right. That's the left. That's the lights, you idiot. That's the right. That's the wipers. I guess we're just driving then. I have no fucking idea which way it is, and Uncle's surely not going to bloody tell me. So I guess I'm just driving. Uh, oh, there's the border. Wow, Dresden is right on the border of this CSFR. Right, okay, so we might actually see you interact with someone here, Uncle, if you have to hand over your passport. Looking forward to that. 
Okay, I think that guy's armed. Okay. He is definitely armed. Okay. Papers, please. Um, six foot. Uh, uncle's about six one. Uh, right. Now I just slip him a tenner. Oh, sorry, I've got to wheel down the window before I can pass him something. Do you want the money? No? Alright. Okay, let's see here. Now I slip in the tenner. Oh, okay, he's found the prostitute. Shit. Before I can let you before I can let you go, just one more thing. We have recently received complaints of dangerous driving from Laker with plates matching yours. You've caused ten in property damage. Please pay the fine and you may continue on your journey. I don't know anything about that. Uncle. Hang on, I only passed over one passport. I don't think Uncle's real. I think they are pulling these he's he's all in your head thing. Seems everything's in order. Have a good day. Prick. I mean... Okay! Oh, it's Uncle. Fucking hell, I thought the guard with the gun was standing me. It's like, roll up your window and drive away. Whew. Why didn't they see you, Uncle? Why did I only hand over one passport? Hmm. I'm really getting a, a bad feeling from you, Uncle. Yeah, I think because I dinged up my engine something pretty damn bad, the entire car is suffering. I should probably stop and have a look. Alright, next time I can pull off the road in a way that won't block traffic, I'll, uh, I'll have a look. Also, the car is definitely drifting. Watch out! Oh, did I hit something again? God, Uncle, you are the worst. You are the worst person. We'll have more borders to deal with in our journey. But be careful where you try to take the border. If they find illegal goods, we'll be fined. Why would I have illegal goods? I'm not a smuggler, Uncle. I'm just a guy who apparently has got into a car with someone who may or may not be a figment of his imagination, who encourages him to kill hookers and carry illegal goods over borders. And if there's something wrong with that, then I don't want to be right. Okay, we are drifting quite a lot on this mud. Shit. Shit, shit. Oh, God. This car you've given me, Uncle, is awful. I reckon if this thing handled better, you know, if I hadn't dinged it up so much that the engine's fucking smoking on day one, then this might be less of an issue. Oh, okay, apparently we're going down this way. I didn't turn off. That was just the bloody vehicle going, hey, you know what we should do? Stop moving. Right, handbrake, handbrake. Okay, I'm going to get out and have a look at this bloody damage. Right, turn that off. Stay here. Right, yeah. It looks like we're low on fuel. And three things, four things need repairing. Let's hope there's something to use in here. It's completely fucking empty. What good is that? Should I have stolen some more from the hotel? Is there something here I can use? Oh, it's the train station. There's nothing here. I think we're out of fuel. Uh, the engine needs repairing. The carburetor needs repairing. That needs repairing. Ah, oh, shitting hell, everything is repairing. I think I get this. I, th I mean, I am absolutely bloody fascinated by this game. It sort of takes driving and makes it accessible, yet sort of kind of realistic. The other way around. Realistic, but kind of accessible. Um, Uncle, do you have anything to say? No? Well, fuck off. <laughs> get out. You're going to live in this motel, in this, uh, not even a motel, is it? It's just a train station thing. 
Right, can you? I can't, can't reach the door. There it is. Wow. Yeah, we have no fuel, Uncle. Well, Uncle. Looks like we're stuck here then. I think we're going to get murdered. It's a really sad ending to this. At least the wipers still work. So this this is Jalopy. I am bloody fascinated by this. I am loving this so far. I would absolutely love to do more videos on this. So let me know if you enjoyed it too. Uh, I'm probably going to have to restart because I see absolutely no way to get fuel now. So unless I can put the bloody newspaper in there, I'm stuffed. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know. And I will catch you later.